Hi and welcome back to Quinoa Pod Creations tutorial videos and today I'm going to do a miniature baseball cap keychain. I use uh, 70 Pelon, 70 weight and Nymo nylon beading thread. I use size 11 seed beads and brain tan leather to line the hat. I have a sports logo cabs that I make myself. Attach it to the pelon with E6000 and we're going to, I beat around the entire pattern outline and end up back at the bottom where the cab is at. Put the, uh, it's a little the simple design around the cab using all the colors of this the team and that's gonna look good until it's the whole uh, pattern is beaded um, and then I'm going to snip off the excess of the pelon pelon um, leaving a little edge along the panels cutting out next to the tabs that are on the pattern. Just making sure there's a little bit of an edge to catch when I'm assembling the cap. And then just cut straight across the top and straight across the bottom, just leaving enough to attach the liner to. And that goes around and I'll attach it by sewing that tab that is left um, to the beadwork. So just actually attaching the beadwork into the circle with that tab, and then I'm going to then I fill in that gap with some uh, two rows of beads, so three across the bottom to connect the line, bottom line, and then two rows to fill in that gap up the side. I'm going to start at, uh, attaching the beads along the top of the pelon that's going to pull those piece, the panel pieces on top to close in and make the baseball cap shape. So I start where the two rows were finished. Um, the video in shows I put three beads on, but I actually had to take that back out and I used only two beads to close that up. Three beads was just too much for the miniature cap. I start in the point area of those panels in Start with one bead and go from side to side, pulling in together, pulling the panels together with the beads. And then the next row would be two beads, and then two beads will go all the way up, pulling those two panels in just like the first. row did. So just going from one side to the other and then back closing up those panels with the two beads all the way up and then they kind of pinch it together at the top. It kind of takes the shape by itself. I'm using those tabs that are that you left sticking out so that kind of gets more secure. And then the cap is done. And then <coughs> I outline the bill in the reinforcing tab. The bill, you have to leave a little edge around it, but the reinforcing piece here you just cut the cut the just the length the size and 
cut those fan slits in it and find the middle of it, place it up into the position right in the middle of the beading cab. And there's that ink line we'll use as a guide to where you're going to sew it to the, the beaded piece. So you're just gonna go in and out, running basting stitch, always making sure you're on that ink line with the stabilizing piece along the edge of the beadwork. That will cause that, that stabilizing piece to kind of curve and make a, the bill of the hat shape. And then you put beadwork on the bill, just a simple design to match. And then we're going to back that with the brain town leather. That stabilizing piece is what you're going to put the beadwork on top and the leather on the bottom. I just put some Elmer's glue on it. That's just going to keep the pieces in place while I assemble it. So I'm going to sew the beadwork to the stabilizing piece and the, the cap shape. So I'm going to be sewing through the beaded piece and I'm going to go into the bill and down in a slant and come back out the beaded piece. Slant. And that's going to pull that beaded bill into place right up next to the cap shape there. And then come back out through the beaded piece and then go back down through the bill. Just pulling that into the position it needs to be in and connecting it to that stabilizing piece. And then once that's done, I'll take the brain town leather and tack that down. Just a running basing stitch across the back. Make sure you cut the leather big enough to overlap the stabilizing piece and on the inside of the beaded shape and then just sew it and then I'm gonna then I match it up and snip off any excess leather that kind of hangs out once that's finished, then I will beat around the bill. Just four beads at a time. It's a simple design. That's just attaching the bill to the brain tan leather all the way around the front of the cap. So just an overcast edging all the way around one side and then back start back in the center and finish it on the other side the liner I cut the brain tan leather out the shape of the the cap without the tabs and then we'll just sew that up so that can fit right inside the beaded cap we're just going to use a tacking stitch where you're gonna just sew back and forth the pieces all the way up so we just yeah go back and forth and that with that tacking stitch go all the way up to the point of that Attaching the pieces together and then fold it over to the next panel and go down the other side of that panel in the liner. And you'll do that for each section. 
Let me start at the base of that panel and go up to the point and go back down the other side until you have all those sections sewed up to the top and then the liner has the shape of the cap and will fit right inside of the beaded piece Um, you match up the back side of where the beadwork attached and where the liner attached together. You just match that up so it fits right because you cut the leather the same shape as the beaded piece with the pattern. I put Elmer's glue on the inside of the hat just to hold the brain town leather in place while I'm attaching it. So line up the place where it was attached to and get the liner all put inside there and then I'm going to sew the end edge of the ball cap by catching just get catching uh, the edge of the brain tan leather and pulling it over, overlapping the the edge of the beaded piece and go through to the inside. Make that stitch on the inside. Now come back through on the inside to the front of the beadwork and just continue that, just catching that edge of the leather pulling it over so to overlap the edge and poke in to the center and that's just attaching that liner all the way around just overlapping that liner And that's why you need the Elmer's glue to hold that in place so you, while you're sewing it up. And then just, yeah, you're just catching the edge of that leather and overlapping it. And then going in through the inside and you want to be sure that your stitches are pretty much the same width and kind of straight so that you have that attached all the way around and then you're going to beat a then I beat a small circle that will be the top of the cap and I put backing leather backing on it so that I can do the edging around it and I'm going to sew that all the way around I use a flat needle uh, needle nose pliers to push the needle up through and pull it out all the way around tie that knot make sure that knots embedded and that is baseball cap, miniature baseball cap, Kiche. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. I, you can stop by and join my Facebook group. Please answer all three questions or you will not be added. You can get the pattern for this keychain on my website, www.quinwellpawcreations.com. And you can also purchase a larger cap. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.